My name is Anson Turley. I'm with the Cincinnati Fire Department, and this is a very brief tutorial on how to uh, navigate uh, to WebEOC and uh, some of the features that WebEOC has to offer. If you go to SoSync.org, it'll bring you to this page. WebEOC is here. You click on that link. This will bring you to this intermittent page. You'll continue to WebEOC. That will bring you uh, to this logon page. Now your logon is your email address and the password that you've been given is 1234. You will have to change that password as soon as you log in. So let's log in. Now when you log in, there's going to be a position and an incident that you have to choose. So my position uh, just happens to be the EOC director. Now what we're going to choose the incident is Cincinnati 2016 7 8 watch. So this is because the EOC began to be activated at 7 on July 8th. So that is the incident that we will choose. You hit OK. Now this is of course your name the location where you will be so that can be at the EOC it could be from at home you could just leave it blank if you want when you're in the EOC you'll put down the, the location as the emergency operations center and then the station you are the phone number to that station here's your email address just hit OK now one thing that's important is that you must make sure that the pop-up blocker is off so if you look at the bottom here it says it blocked the pop-up from web EOC turn off your pop-up blocker so here we're going to say options for this site we're going to say always allow and then we're going to retry it and you should get this dashboard this is how you navigate web EOC so on the dashboard there are a few things you can sign in and out so if you were at the uh, emergency operations center you come here you'd open up this sign in and this would tell us the times that you were on duty and the times that you were off. So you would actually just hit sign in. Put down your agency. Mine would be Cincinnati Fire Department. I'm not going to go through this. But, but that's how you would sign in. Also, we have the SoSync contact list. This is the contact list for pretty much everyone in the region. And if you're not on this contact list, I... Uh, suggest that you do add your name and, or if you're on it to make sure that your information is up to date. So this could be the one contact list for pretty much any resource or any person in the region that we want to uh, reach. And you can filter it by uh, last name, T. You can filter it by the county. So if you only want Hamilton County or if you only want Cincinnati, course right now I'm only, only one to for Cincinnati uh, there's different ways to search the contact list so please enter your information in the contact list make sure it's up to date and here we have incident documents uh, what we will have is the uh, incident uh, action plan and every other document related to the NAACP so you go here for documents related to a specific incident and then this is significant events so if you just want an overview of what's going on with a particular incident you can load this in and it is according to uh, it's in chronological order you can just scroll through these are entries made by those who are actually working in the EOC and they'll give you a pretty good idea of what's going on anyway that's my short uh, tutorial uh, we will have an extended training class at uh, some point in time and you will be notified about that but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me or uh, someone from my uh, staff. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will talk to you soon.